Hurricanes are a fact of life in the Gulf of Mexico. And the upper Texas coast has been struck by a major storm nearly every 15 years. In 2008, Hurricane Ike was considered near miss when it took a last minute jog to the east, missing a direct hit on Galveston Bay. But as bad as it was, we dodged a bullet because a little bit to the west, we'd had a direct hit. We'd have had like $100 billion worth of damage. The Houston-Galveston Bay region is home to more than 4 million people and thriving industrial areas that manufacture a significant amount of American goods. But a hurricane is destined at some point to wipe out a significant portion of that, according to a scientific study that this animation is based on. Just a matter of, of when, it's not a matter of if. That is why the Texas Institute of Oceanography's Dr. Bill Merrill and teams of other scientists and engineers are sounding the alarm now and proposing a solution in the form of a barrier along the coast. We can't prevent hurricanes, but we can prevent surge. If no coastline is protected, scientists say a hurricane in the right place will send storm surge waters up the nearly 50 mile long Houston ship channel, wiping out industrial areas of Houston and Galveston, where the U.S. military says more than 60% of its fuel is produced. It's not just a national economy issue at that point. When you talk about the military fuel, you're talking about our national security. If you're a country looking to do harm to our interests or our country, what better time to do it than when we're, when we're down? The solution that protects the most people, according to the Texas Institute of Oceanography's Dr. Merrill and his team, is a coastal barrier along the Texas shoreline from High Island westward to San Luis Pass at an estimated cost of five to ten billion dollars, less than a third of the price tag for rebuilding after Hurricane Ike hit Texas in 2008. When Ike hit, the storm surge hit Kima, Texas, damaging and destroying many homes, including the former mayor's house, where six feet of storm surge rushed through his first floor. It was, it was like, wow. Everybody says how strong the water is. You know, it can carry concrete, it can carry, and, but that storm surge, it was, it, was, it, was, it was pretty incredible. If that surge had been farther west, scientists say the Port of Houston infrastructure would be critically damaged. This area produces so many of the products that we need to, to make this state run and the country run. The surge would have ripped through the nation's busiest port and the Houston Ship Channel, destroying the manufacturing centers for much of America's raw materials, goods, plastics, petrochemicals, fertilizers, commercial cargo, and fuel produced in the Houston-Galveston area. Aircraft start shutting down, flights start shutting down, gasoline becomes much more expensive. Even the epicenter of our nation's human spaceflight program, NASA's Johnson Space Center, could be forced to relocate or close. But Merrill and its team learned of a solution and have studied it ever since Hurricane Ike hit Texas. We take a punch in the nose and then we say we're going to recover from that punch. It's a lot smarter not to get punched in the first place. And so that's what a good coastal barrier does for you. It prevents you from getting punched in the nose. It prevents that surge. The coastal storm surge protection proposal is based on a proven system of levees and gates that has spared the Netherlands from damage for decades, ever since a deadly storm surge in 1953. If there's a way you can avoid something, you know, if, you're, if you can avoid it, if you're prepared and there's something that you can do that can help in some way before that monster storm or any storm hits, people have to take a look at that. You're just, why not? It's a no-brainer. Log on to www.bacpa.org to learn more on how to stop the surge at the coast before the next one strikes.